But first, two men now under arrest accused of stabbing a Sanford restaurant manager nearly a dozen times. Good afternoon, everyone. This is News 6 at 4. I'm Ginger Gadsden. I'm Julie Broughton. And I'm Lisa Bell. That victim survived the attack but is still recovering from being stabbed in the neck, midsection, and leg. This happened at Wolfie's in Sanford on Sunday morning. That's right off Lake Monroe off Seminole Boulevard. News 6's Eric Von Inken is there live tonight. And Eric, police say one suspect used to work for the victim. Lisa, police say the guy who actually did the stabbing here is the one who used to work here, and they tell us that's how they cracked this case. Ultimately, they tell us the whole attack was recorded on surveillance video right there. They showed the video to employees. They say those employees recognize this guy. Mr. Rebus, you're here on a charge of attempted first degree murder, robbery with a weapon, <coughs> and burglary armed burglary. Alfredo Rivas, police say, tried to kill the bar manager early Sunday morning here when the manager fought back and tried to stop the robbery. Police say Rivas. I didn't know where the burglary came from. Well, they filed the new charges against you. And this man, Guy Hughes Jr., stormed into the back office at Wolfie's, put a fake gun to the manager's head, and demanded money. They had a gun, but I think it was just like a cap gun or a BB gun. The other one had a knife. Stabbed me a few times. That voice calling 911 is the longtime bar manager himself here at Wolfie's, Larry Picardat, or Pick as his friends call him. And you said you were stabbed in your side? On my side, he tried to cut my neck. If you don't have a bond now, but if you are to be released. Police say Rivas was the one with the knife and tried to slit the manager's neck before they ran off. Rivas used to work here, according to police. And that bond hearing happened just a few hours ago. In fact, we were there before we came here. At the end of that hearing, the judge ordered no bond for both of those guys. So, Lisa, they are staying in jail at least until their arraignment in October. Yeah, and Eric, I know you talked with the owner of Wolfie's today. How are they doing with all of this, and how is the bar manager doing? You know, Lisa, it was a good conversation. They tell us they're very private. It's a very close-knit community. They didn't want to say a whole lot, but... The point that they want to make is they are very happy about this arrest and very appreciative of the Sanford PD, they say, for making this happen so quickly. The manager, by the way, is doing okay. They say he's going to be all right. He's in the hospital still, though. Well, that is the good news. Eric Von Inken reporting live for us tonight in Sanford. Thank you.